In this video, we are going to talk about inside Donald Trump's homes, from Trump Tower to his family Westchester estate. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. After graduating from the New York Military Academy in 1959, Trump went on to the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School to study business in 1966. He joined the family firm in 1968, when he was just 22 years old, and began his career in property development. Since then, Trump has built a corporate empire worth $3.1 billion, 2.2 billion pounds, including real estate, hotels, and even golf courses. Here are the Donald Trump's homes, from Trump Tower to his family Westchester estate. So let's get started. Number 9. Trump Tower. Trump began work on Trump Tower in 1979 after deciding on Manhattan as his destination. The 58-story building, which used to be a department store, now houses upscale residential and retail complexes, including Donald Trump's personal residence in the penthouse triplex. The Trump Organization's headquarters are also housed in the skyscraper, which is known for its lavish decor. The welcome room features 240 tons of pink-white veined marble, as well as four gold elevators for tourists exclusively and a private elevator for Trump family members. Number 8. Donald Trump's Childhood Home Fred Trump, the future president's real estate developer father, founded the Trump Organization in 1923, constructed Trump's childhood house in 1940. This excellent family house offers five baths and four and a half bathrooms, as well as a spacious living room, dining room, and library. It was last sold for $2.1 million, 1.5 million pounds, in 2017. The mansion was put back on the market in February 2019 for $2.9 million, 2.1 million pounds, after failing to sell at auction in 2018, but it was suddenly withdrawn without a sale. Trump supporters started a GoFundMe campaign in November 2020 to buy the mansion as a thank-you gift for the outgoing president before he left office in January 2021. The goal was to generate $3 million, 2.2 million pounds, however it has yet to be met. Number 7. Trump's Connecticut Marital Home The home, which sits on roughly six acres of lush green land, has panoramic views of Long Island Sound. The millionaire furnished the property in dazzling gold with opulent finishes throughout, in keeping with his trademark exaggerated flair. Ivana received the property as part of her divorce settlement from Trump in 1992, and eventually sold it for a reputed $15 million, 10.8 million pounds, in 1998. The eight-bedroom beachfront residence is approximately 20,000 square feet and has eight fireplaces, a five-car garage, a luxury movie theater, and a pool house with a magnificent indoor swimming pool. Number 6. Trump heads to Florida, Mar-a-Lago. After a long search, Trump purchased Mar-a-Lago in 1985 for $8 million, 5.7 million pounds, which included the estate and all of its furniture. It was a steal, given it was a fraction of the cost of building Mar-a-Lago, which Forbes estimated to be worth $160 million, 115 million pounds, in 2018. Trump rebuilt the home with the intention of turning it into a cash cow by allowing fee-paying members to visit. Trump promised a delicate restoration at the request of the Palm Beach City Council and to secure approval for his new project. The restoration, in true Trump fashion, cost millions of dollars and included opulent additions such as two swimming pools, a beauty salon, spa, and a 20,000-square-foot ballroom. Number 5. The Trump Family's Second Florida Home Amara Lago isn't the only opulent residence in Florida related to the Trumps. A firm connected to Donald Trump and his family is said to possess this little-known house in Florida. Eric Trump, Trump's third son, and Donald Trump Jr. ran 1125 South Ocean LLC, a limited liability business. The property was purchased by Donald Trump's sister, retired Judge Marianne Trump Barry, in 2018 for slightly under $18.3 million, 13.4 million pounds. Shortly after the family purchased the house, Trump International Realty marketed it for rent for $100,000, 72,000 pounds, per month. Due to a lack of tenants, the price was quickly cut to $65,000, 47,000 pounds, in 2019. The house is currently on the market for $49 million, 35 million pounds, giving the family a significant profit over their purchase price. Number 4. The Virginia Vineyard. 
In May 2011, Trump paid $6.2 million, 4.5 million pounds, bought the 776-acre wine estate in Charlottesville, Virginia, plus $1.7 million, 1.2 million pounds, in equipment and inventory. In 2012, he paid $6.7 million, 4.8 million pounds, for Albemarle House, completing his purchase of the entire estate. The estate's enormous grounds include superbly manicured English gardens, fishing ponds, an outdoor pool and hot tub surrounded by outdoor lounging areas, and Virginia's largest winery, among other things. It's yet another gem in Trump's illustrious real estate enterprise. Number 3. Trump's New Jersey Estate. Another Trump-owned company, Trump National Golf Club, bought his Bedminster Resort for an estimated $35 million, 25 million pounds, in 2002. Trump quickly began renovating the club, which is located 40 miles west of New York City in New Jersey, into a luxury club and golf course, and it opened in 2004, just in time for the 4th of July celebrations. Bedminster is a world-class resort spread out over 600 acres of undulating New Jersey countryside. It features a 36-hole golf course built by Tom Fazio and Tom Fazio II, as well as a 16-acre practice facility, an indoor golf instructional center, and even equestrian amenities. Number 2. Trump's Scottish Estate. Trump bought Balmody, a 1,400-acre tract of land just north of Aberdeen, Scotland, in 2006 with the intention of turning it into yet another luxury golf course. The transformation of the unspoilt stretch of coastline into a high-end golf course, however, did not proceed as planned. Finally, work on the property began in October 2009, and was opened to the public in 2012. Two golf courses in McLeod House, a premium 16-room hotel, are part of the Billion Pound Project. Trump reportedly paid $60 million, 46 million pounds, for the house and $200 million, 144 million pounds, for the new golf course. Number 1. Donald Trump's Westchester Estate. Trump purchased his Seven Springs residence in 1996 for an estimated $7.5 million, 5.4 million pounds, after purchasing Mar-a-Lago. As usual, golf was a big focus, and Trump wanted to create a Trump-branded golf course on the property. Protests, however, derailed the plans, but Trump preserved the property as a family vacation despite the setback. The 5,000-square-foot mansion, which is reached through a long road and surrounded by manicured gardens, has three swimming pools, a carriage house, and 15 bedrooms. It would have been the ideal location for Trump's proposed golf course, as it is surrounded by 230 acres of land. What do you think of our list? Which home do you like most from above list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.